Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. We're going to take a look at Cancer and Aries, a relationship. I hope you guys are doing okay out there. I did meditate over these cards. We're going to take a look and see what's going on with this couple and then we'll get into what's going on with this couple. I think I see what's going on with this couple. However, we are going to pull individual energy for Cancer and then we'll pull individual energy for Aries. And then, you know, we'll take a look at the common energy there. Cancer, please visit me, WackyMo, W-A-C-K-Y-M-O-E on Twitter. Also, Zen Romance Tarot on Twitter. <laughs> All right. If you guys need to listen to somebody talk some sense into you, or if you need to piece some stuff together... There's a bunch of readers over there. They're more than happy to help you guys. We are here to help. We are here to make stuff clear as day for you, right? <laughs> You're here to get your mind ready <laughs> for all the effery that's coming up. All right, let's take a look. Cancer, give me your energy, please. In this relationship with Aries, please give me your energy. Give me your energy. Give me your energy. Cancer, your energy. All right, I got one. All right, there's something here. Sexy time. Listen, there's something here with a group. There's some expression. Somebody may want to express themselves differently. There is three here. This is some of you guys could be uh, wanting. Uh, you guys are in a same sex relationship here. Something with sexy time. I think I see it's two women on this one. You guys might be same sex, but maybe different ethnicity or something like that. So I see something with sexy time. For some of you guys, you could be interested in group sex. For some of you guys, you could use sex as an expression. There's something here about rituals that has been very present in your read. Something about ritualistic sex. This is sexy time. I feel like for some of you guys here, you're trying to find some harmony through sex. Harmony through one's body. I feel like there's something that you are trying to get, attain, something like that. For some of you guys here, I feel like you want to bring something into fruition. And it could be something ritualistic about this. Or this could be an attempt to get closer. Cancer to your Aries. Something like that. Something about sex that is significant. I'm going to leave this here until it's time for me to go over that way. Cancer, give me more. Tell me about sexy time, whatever this is about. Let me see something. Hold on, y'all. Let me move this thing. I don't need my coffee disappearing. All right, hold on. All right. So we got that. All right. I see something here. Cancer, you're in this energy of wanting to connect with other people as an attempt to, uh, to feel whole in a situation. I feel like somebody is looking for some kind of connection to feel whole. That lets me believe that some of you guys may have felt empty, which is why you're in this sexy time mood or something like that. Maybe you guys are connecting with each other. We also hear outer strength. Some of you guys to the outside don't. Outer strength. That's having a shell on the outside of you, right? Where you can still present well, you can still go about your way, go about your business and still produce outer strength, or at least it looks that way to other people. Some of you guys might be suffering on the inside. For some of you guys, you offered somebody something and it looks like they may have rejected you. For some of you, you were not able to manifest something that you wanted. This could be this relationship. This could be abundance. I feel like for some of you guys with the rejection notice that comes up, there's something about you being rejected by Aries. So there could have been an offer put out. For some of you guys, Cancer, you take a lot of pride in attempting to take care of your families in a sense, right? One of you guys do. There's something about family here. I want to be able to take care of my family. Some of you guys applied for a position and you were denied this new opportunity that was presented to you didn't pan out the way you wanted it to. Some of you guys didn't get the job. Some of you guys didn't get the girl or the guy, something like that. Your dream did not come true. For some of you guys, you weren't able to manifest. Something got in the way of you manifesting what it is you wanted to maybe grow. All right, let me put this here. So that could have been an issue. Some of you guys were connecting with somebody um, on one way and a need to feel whole. Maybe you use sex as a way to feel whole or something like that. Or maybe you guys literally just comfort each other. Give me more, please. What's going on with cancer in this relationship with Aries? Deep knowing. You guys have this deep knowing about a situation. There's something that you know. I feel like you guys have this comfortable way of expressing yourselves. There's something about you being confident. Because I feel like this speaks to confidence too. Having to do with a group or something like that. For some of you guys, you're out to grow something. Change something. You have this... You have this thing. I still feel like after being rejected out of a situation, right? Maybe something broke you down a little bit. I feel like you guys have this deep knowing, but a deep knowing about what? 
There's something that you guys know. I feel like you, even though I was rejected in a certain area, there's something that I know. Something that won't break my confidence. My confidence is not going to go away because I was rejected. I'm dealing with this rejection. I said, okay, rejection, not a problem. What I'm going to do, right? I'm going to go here and enjoy the subway. I'm going to paint, bring my paint supplies, go hang out. This girl's on her way to the park here. She ain't thinking about your rejection letter. You can kiss her rejected behind. That's what she don't look like. She give no what. <laughs> Cancer, give me more, please. All right. We also have all eyes on you. I think you guys know. You guys may have been rejected in a situation, Cancer. Right? Or you're learning to deal with some kind of rejection. To be honest with you, it, and you don't seem to care. It don't look like you give no what's what these folks is talking about. There's this deep knowing. You know all eyes are on you. You know that you're the it girl in some situation. And there's something about congrats on the... Oh, you guys get a feature. Cancer, you're going to be featured on something? But some of you guys is going to be all eyes on you. Literally, you're going to be featured on something. You have this deep knowing, even after being rejected in this relationship or rejected by whatever, or things not turning out your way, all eyes are still on you and you know it. This is something that is going to come to fruition. This is the end of a cycle where maybe things weren't going well. You guys are completing something. There's going to be a new phase for you. That's the energy that I'm getting. It almost like, I don't know. It feels like you guys are very fortunate, right? So even after some sort of rejection cancer, you turn around and you give back. Aries, what's going on here? What's going on with you? Because I see that you guys are connected on a level here. Let me just go back and see. Yup, sexy time. Okay, so there's sexy time. I feel like this one is more about expression. It doesn't really give me the, all the group sex and all this other stuff. I mean, I feel like there's you guys are connecting to feel whole with somebody, which I would question that. But otherwise, it's like you, somebody may have turned you down, could have been a lover or something like that, and you bounce right back. You get on a subway, you get your paint supplies, and you be like, bye, I'm the it girl still. Somebody sleepless, Aries, it looks like you're sleepless in this situation. For some of you guys, you're having issues in a partnership, somebody, you couldn't control something, right? For some of you guys, you couldn't attain something. You can control something, therefore you couldn't have it, and it makes you sleepy. Looks like you're feeling sleepy because you couldn't get something. Aries, give me more, please. We also have your daydreaming. So you're sleepless. You can't sleep at night. And then during the day, you're drifting off in the la-la land. Huh. Some of you guys are having some issues in this partnership. Some of you are not understanding why things are, I don't know if things are not going your way. Some of you guys are confused about something. Why can't I make something happen? Why can't I attain something? I can't sleep. And then when I am up during the day, I'm daydreaming. Daydreaming. I feel like, Aries, you might be giving cancer a hard time, acting like you're not interested or something, but you can't sleep. One is like sexy time. Oh, you might be concerned that um, you might be concerned that your cancer is sleepy time and a sexy time it was somebody else. You could be mad about that. I mean, that could be why you can't sleep. I don't know. Aries, you must have done something because you're mad now. Anyway, <laughs> give me more. What's up with Aries in this relationship with cancer? Fill your cup. The reason why these things are happening in areas is because you're not fulfilled. The cards are saying that you have to fill your own cup before you can expect somebody else to fill yours. And I feel like this was a codependent connection in a sense. Both you guys may have been doing something to be whole. But the lesson out of it is I got rejected. I still recovered. Yours is I'm daydreaming. I can't sleep. You need to fill your own cup because you're waiting for cancer to fill yours. Cancer's off living their life. They're the it girl. They ain't worried about you. So if I look at these cards, I don't, somebody did some F stuff, but I really think that the story is reversed. Like, if I tell it this way, it's going to look like it goes in Cancer's favor, right? If I tell the story the other way, it looks like it goes in Aries' favor in terms of who's a jerk. So take things how they resonate in these reads. Fill your cup. So for some of you guys here, just to get back to it, Aries, I feel like there's something that you guys are trying to work on or you need to work on, you need to master. You need to take some kind of action towards something. So far, you can't sleep at night. You're immobile during the day because you're lethargic. For some of you guys, you're daydreaming off in la-la land. So there's a bunch of dreaming, but there's not very much action. While well, you need to fill your cup. Uh, Cancer's like, listen, I'm on this. I'm the it girl. I am pulling up the premieres. You know, for some of you guys, you could... Do philanthropy work, Cancer? For some of you guys, you could... You know those people that show up to them premieres and stuff for, like, foundations? I'm getting that from this, right? 
and then it looks like some of you guys actually end up getting a feature on something. You could be helping out an organization that, for children. It could be children or maybe people with disabilities or something like that. Now, Aries, I also see coming up for you, fill your cart, be of service. And I think that might be what the issue is. I feel like for some of you guys, there's this element of emptiness. There's something with community pride and you being of service. So I feel like one of the things that's going to help fill your cup, Aries, is you being outside, being of service to people. I feel like you guys like to be of service. Now, if we take a look at this, we have Cancer who went through some struggles. We have Cancer who could have had a physical issue. We have Cancer who could be in a wheelchair, but they're still moving. They're still doing it. So they're in their purpose. They're doing what needs to be done. Somebody told Cancer that they couldn't make it or they're not good enough because I'm in a wheelchair or I'm not good enough because I'm too short or I'm too dark or my hair is too this, my hair, whatever, right? So somebody told Cancer they couldn't make it, but Cancer said, yeah, you rejected me. But what you can do though is get these, you heard? So cancer is the it girl. And I see for you, while this cancer is overdoing their thing, Aries, it looks like you can't sleep at night. You need to find your purpose too. So you, you're like, I need to fill my cup. And yours is to be of service. For some of you guys, Aries, you could be helping people grow food, a community garden, working with different people to help others live better. I feel like you start there. At the end of the day, both you guys are people of service, right? I want to help other people. I do something to help people understand they can get over any humps. And I'm going to be of service. So it's all, it's all about being of service. Give me the common energy between these two, please. Study. So you guys, look at this. Ain't that bottom mother. There's black art history. Some of you guys could be into community work. Black art history. Some of you guys are studying black art history. You know, where the origins are. Some of you guys are working in a library here. Doesn't matter who you are, you're probably studying black history. It says black art history, black history. Some of you guys could be professors of black history. I feel like you guys are of service. This is a common energy. Both you guys study, both you guys want to help. I feel like we are talking about people who want to give to the community. I like that. Oh my goodness. That's the common energy. You want something black history, uh, black art history. Somebody's got glasses, coffee. Listen, uh, but that's what I'm talking about. Like, I find this really amazing. I like that energy. All right, so I feel like both of you guys are coming together on something. Let's take a look and see what's going on with the actual story. Now, I feel like this is one story over here having to do with love. So most likely I'm not going to pull love because I don't want this to be too long or too congested. If I start to see too much criminal activity, I will pull criminal cards. But right now I'm looking at people who have been through a journey. But what they have in common is black art history, right? We have two people who weren't able to find themselves. They probably use sex to become one or feel whole right using each other and i feel like they break off from codependence and they start their own journey but what they have in common is some sort of a study these people could be in school together going to school together could be professors students or something like that something with a collegiate setting collegiate <laughs> oh jeez. all right let me get rid of these cards okay so we have the ace oops sorry about that guys now you can't see all this going on back here but it's really it's really right in front of your face it's just so far back you can't see it it's called the okie doke <laughs> the ace of cups comes up for cancer in this relationship i am in love with you i want to propose to you this is the proposal of a marriage a relationship right if we were take to take a look at it from the colors of the cards which would be love but yes this is love but it's also about fulfillment. The Ace of Cups, Cancer, you desire fulfillment in this relationship with Aries, right? It says this is about creativity and falling passionately in love with love or the idea of love or person or the idea of love. And I think that's where you get stuck, Cancer. It says here some of you guys actually fell in love with some sort of a spiritual calling that you have, possibility, because it could be to teach, it could be to serve the community. That is evident down here. Now, just because these people look wonderful, right, with the outer strength and all this other stuff, even though I feel like somebody may have felt broke down and they picked themselves up here with Aries, I still feel like we're talking about people who are about their community. They are about teaching or whatever. They're serious. These people are like serious, collegiate, not, you don't even have to be collegiate. Just I'm about that life. I'm about history. I love, you know, something like that where they teach. So we get that. But I also see somebody here. It could be love, but it, it could also be the idea of love, which cancer is attracted to Aries. This is something about the idea of love or spiritual calling. 
Cancer, you could be some sort of an artist or you fell in love with the idea of an artistic pursuit. An artistic pursuit. Ace of Cups is new love, proposal, offer, marriage, new relationship. Somebody could have fell in love with the idea. I want to be clear about that, right? So you guys are open to new love, Cancer, because you found somebody that you guys were interested in. The cards say here that your family loves the way that you care for them. So you're open to new love and your family loves the way you take care of them. I don't know what one has to do with the other, but I'm thinking the family loves the way you take care of them, Cancer. So you're interested in somebody new. Is there going to be an issue with that? We have the Seven of Swords that comes out reversed here. Now, remember, Cancer, you're in love with the idea of being in love with Aries, right? So that doesn't mean you're actually in love with Aries. I see something going on here with the Seven of Swords. This is some sort of dishonesty. Do I think you really like this person? Aries, do I think that you want to propose a new love? Yes, I think you're interested, but I still feel like there are some motives that need to be questioned. There's some sort of dishonesty that shows up on your end, Cancer. It says here, you have to, oh, I get it. Okay, there's dishonesty that shows up here for you. So Cancer, you're in love or you're really into Aries. There's something here where you feel like Aries is being dishonest with you. This is about theft. This is about somebody being dishonest. And it says deceit is likely. You are being advised, Cancer, that you have to examine the motives of this Aries here, your Aries, because it says that they are trying to deceive you. It says here that this Aries that you're dealing with may have given in to bullying rather than retaliation, meaning they decided to, I can't beat them, let me join them. Let me not have an independent fight. Let me not try and fight these 30 groups of people that are coming for me. What I am going to do is give in to what they say. This is what Aries is saying. I'm going to give in to what they say and I'm just going to go with the flow. I'm going to let them rob, steal, whatever. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cover it all up. I'm going to turn a blind eye, whatever. So... They chose, to, they chose to go along with the bullying, right? That's how you feel about them, Cancer. I was in love with you, but you chose to go with the bullying versus fighting. So I'm a fighter, says Cancer, or something like that. I'm a fighter, but at the end of the day, you know, you bullying people, you gave in. I feel like this is a conflict of interest of some sort. Now, we do see where somebody was trying to steal something, right? Somebody close to you is trying to steal something, Cancer. That could be your Aries. I feel like these reads are... Cancer having some issues with their partners. That's what I've been getting so far. Every single one of you seem to have reservations about your partner. You feel like your partner's stealing from you, Cancer, or something like that. For some of you, they've given in to bullying. They're bullying other people. However, you also need to understand that your Aries comes across as dishonest. They're an adversary. Your Aries wants to take something from you. Your Aries wants to take your property from you, Cancer. That's what the cards are saying. So I know you're in love with this Aries or whatever, or you're in love with the idea of love, but this person wants to take your property or you want to take Aries property, take it how it resonates. I will say this. This is a Six of Cups that comes up in this read here. Six of Cups, this tells us there's something about friendship. There's something about pleasure. If we get into the nitty gritty of how this goes, we're going to see, because I'm starting to question who's shady here based off the text. It shows that Cancer's in love with Aries or I'm feeling you. I feel like we can have something. This is like, I'm interested in you. I want to da-da-da. But you're stealing something from me. Seven of Swords Reverse says there's dishonesty or theft that is likely on the other end, the other party. Examine others. This, this card tells me to point at the other party. The other party is, is going to be Aries. So I point to Aries and I say, hey, I feel like you're being dishonest with me. I feel like... You don't feel like you love me. It feels like you're more of an adversary, all right? I feel like you want something from me. I feel like you want my property. So, Cancer, you know Aries is coming for your property. This is the Six of Cups, so. So, this is the benefits. With Cancer, there are some benefits from, I guess, past relationships. With the Six of Cups, if we look at it traditionally, that's going to be nostalgia. And it's going to be innocence or going back to a time when you were younger where things were settled. You didn't have any bills. You were innocent, but it's also about reunions, there are some benefits from contacts that you have. All right, so Cancer, you have a group of contacts in your Rolodex or something where you can reach out to certain people from the past. It looks like whatever reaching out was done, there's an old friend or an acquaintance who resurfaces. So somebody from the past comes back into your life, Cancer. 
This could have been a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio that comes back into your life. I have to have coffee. For some of you guys, it could have been a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio that comes back into your life, or a Libra, Aquarius, or a Gemini. So there's somebody who wants to come back or is coming back, right? That's what I'm having for you, uh, Cancer. Or this could be your energy. You could be the water energy that shows up here. But there's something here about this meeting that you had. This meeting sparked inspiration for future schemes and adventures. Some of you guys had a meeting with an old friend. After you found out you were dealing with an adversary. After you found out, I'm in love with this Aries. I found out that this Aries did some shady stuff. They tried to get me for my property, get me for my house, get me for the cash in my pocket. They was doing all types of effery, right, to get my stuff. So after I realized that this Aries was trying to shake me down and, you know, whatever, get me out of here, get me out my house, whatever. What I do is I reach out to my contacts, says Cancer. I have a Rolodex. They have contacts from every company I ever worked for in my life. Let me call these people up. And it says that this reuniting, because of there's some sort of a reunion, there's some sort of a meeting that Cancer had, meeting with people from their past, and these contacts that they have benefit them. These people are able to tell them what they need to know. They probably come from every industry. People have switched over. I feel like this is a very, a very important group of contacts. People who are socially powerful, people who hold positions. I feel like this group of people that Cancer has privy to, they're very powerful. I feel like Aries, you're very powerful too, but Cancer had to, once Cancer found out you were being deceptive or they thought or they think that, that's when they reached out to these people. They took pleasure, friendship, meeting. They had drinks while they made plans for future schemes and future adventures future scheme per the text comes up first this could have been something with revenge because remember aries was trying to come and get your property so it says but we'll go on and see how this plays out okay aries we're going to take a look at your energy here you're in this scorpio energy aries all right this is a judgment card there's something about you guys having some sort of a rebirth here this is a major arcana card, right? So there's going to be a major life change that comes up for you guys. There's a project or a relationship that's going to come to an end for you. Some of you guys, Aries, your relationship with this Cancer comes to an end. For whatever reasons. I feel like if Cancer broke up with you, it's because they found out you were trying to steal their property. All right? They found out that maybe you were hanging out with a Libra, Aquarius, or a Gemini, or something. And you were trying to get them for their property. So they had to go around you and go to their friends from yesteryears. These friends are all probably, I don't know, older, the crop, they, whatever. These friends that this cancer had to reach out to probably had to go to their kids who now work for the company, right? You got the contacts, but you got this kid that knows the computer system. Somebody's kid is doing something. There's an Aries kid out there. Actually, just, there's an Aries kid out there that was actually doing black magic on their parent or parents. I got that the other day. I think I did put it in one of the reads, but I didn't realize like, I'm like, what? Yeah, it came up again. There's somebody's kid is doing black magic on him. I feel like this kid is immature and they're just doing it as a joke. Like, I don't think they understand what it is they're doing, but they probably seen somebody doing it their whole life. That's probably why I chanting for them. <laughs> they don't realize what they're doing. So anyway, if your life is falling apart, it could be your kid doing black magic on you. That's so weird, but I had to get that out there. Anyway, let's go back to it, right? So we have here the judgment card that comes up for Aries. This is significant life change that comes up in this relationship, right? So Cancer thought they were going to have a new love with you. Everything was great. You made some sort of a judgment. There's a significant life change. A relationship comes to an end. Somebody offers a second chance. Somebody's asking for forgiveness. For some of you guys, you're offered a second chance. Cancer, did you offer Aries a second chance? The cards say that somebody's asking for forgiveness. Offers a second chance and an opportunity for forgiveness along with a financial reward from a loved one. Ah, okay. There's some kind of financial reward that's going to come from a loved one. Some of you guys are separated from your partner. Cancer. 
there's something about you receiving news of an inheritance that comes in. So Aries, you receive some sort of news about an inheritance. You receive news that is an inheritance on the way from you coming from a relative or some family legacy. Cancer, new love, new proposal. Cancer was in love with the idea of you, in love with your potential in a sense, right? But you made a judgment about something. A judgment is you guys end up getting something back, right? So you have something coming in for you, Aries. There's something where there's a relative from overseas. This relative from overseas left you something, some sort of an inheritance. And it says that you're going to reunite with a relative from overseas who was emotionally unavailable to you. That your relative overseas could have been a Scorpio energy with judgment. This person was probably emotionally unavailable to you because they were locked up in some sort of prison. They could have been a prisoner. This person is overseas, whatever that's about. You guys want to be reun reunited with this person. Some of you know this person. Some of you guys do not. You're going to get a letter from overseas Aries. This is going to be from a Scorpio or has to do with Scorpio energy or this is your cancer reaching out to you. The Ten of Pentacles is what's coming in for you guys again. So this is judgment coming in, Aries, about an inheritance. It's backed up by the Ten of Pentacles. You guys have some inheritance that's coming in. It's going to give you some sort of wealth. It's brought on by generations. It's benefits. Benefits given from dividends. So you guys might inherit something having to do with the market or dividends from somebody's stock. Shared dividends. That's something that you make, I think, every quarter. I don't know how it goes. I can't remember. But you get it like every quarter, I think, dividends or whatever the, whatever it is for the stock. But there's something also about a gift from a generous friend or relative. Again, we piece it together because this relative is overseas. This Aries here has some connections to overseas. This Cancer in this read has connections to overseas. We have Aries who has connections to overseas and they can work with people. Because what they found out is that cancer has something or somebody's got something. Somebody found out about something. It feels like, it almost feels like there's paranoia between these people. I say that because somebody's being dishonest. So cancer, you feel like Aries is trying to take something from you. But it feels like Aries is not broke. It also feels like cancer that you are in love with the idea of this Aries having something coming in, which is an inheritance. A judgment goes in their favor. Their inheritance is released. That's how they pick up the Ten of Pentacles. And then cancer, it goes back over to your energy here. You're like, I'm in love with you, but I might be trying to steal something from you because I know you have this money coming in. Or you could be accusing you, Cancer, could be accusing Aries of wanting to steal something from you. And no offense, if I had to look at... I'm sure you do have something somewhere, right? But I don't see where Aries is getting their own money. That's what it looks like. They do get hit with the Six of Pentacles, and we'll take a look at that to see if there's anything shady. But so far, it just looks like here, as you think somebody's stealing something from you, you're concerned, Cancer, that Aries is going to take your property. For some of you guys, the Ten of Pentacles shows up because you're afraid they're going to take your property and still have some money. So you lose while they gain plus get your property. Mm. With the Ten of Pentacles, this is shared dividends. This is also Aries wanting to provide for their family. They feel good about providing for their family. It says here, and we're going to go into this piece too. There's that family member that I was telling you guys about. There's something with the family member from overseas. There's something about you are supporting an aging parent. So I feel like there's a couple of family members. There's an agent, there's an aging parent that comes up. It talks about the agent parent moving in and Aries is financially supporting an agent parent. There's also the another relative that comes from overseas that sends some money. This tells me that Aries is sitting in a decent position because they're already taking care of an aging parent. They have an inheritance coming in. So I think they're sitting in a pretty good position because it looks like they have multiple streams of income coming in. But then it looks like cancer could be trying to rob them of that or cancer. I don't know if you're aware how paid this Aries is. I don't think they need your money. I don't think they really need to steal nothing. I don't know. Now, keep in mind, Aries is somewhat good. So unless they're counting on different forms of income or different avenues or I don't know if that's the case here because we have the Six of Pentacles. It comes up and it just literally says, Aries, this payment due you 
is withheld for no good reason. So you didn't get your money. It was held for no good reason or there was an offer that was made in bad faith. The cards are saying for you to stay away from any financial risks at this time because I feel like you guys are in a decent position. You were expecting a Ten of Pentacles, but something doesn't come in. However, if we go back up to judgment, that could just say, yes, judge. The judge says, I'm going to get my Ten of Pentacles. I was granted my Ten of Pentacles here, but somebody's holding my money. This judgment card still tells us that you were supporting somebody overseas. So you clearly had the money to do that. What does the money here equate to over there? Um, it might be significant. Given how the money is going and where I am now, I don't know how that goes. I don't know if it equates, but I feel like if this is like a third world country that we're talking about, the money's still going to go far. So Aries, you had enough money to support somebody overseas. You were taking care of somebody overseas already, sending money to somebody overseas, somebody who was, and then that's one person, there's another one who was emotionally unavailable. We could be talking about three different aging people. But the one moving into the house, I think that's where the struggle comes in because you guys have this aging person, parent that comes into the house and you guys are concerned about how you're going to take care of them. Please keep in mind that Aries was expecting their judgment to come in, which is the Ten of Pentacles. And it didn't necessarily come in. The money was held. The money was held by a Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo. The money could have been held by a Libra, Aquarius, or a Gemini. It could be held by a Scorpio. Because this is a card of judgment. This is a card of clarity. It's about a wake-up call. Your life's purpose. But at the end of the day, it's about something going in your favor. Somebody made judgment. Scorpio made a judgment that a Ten of Pentacles is yours. But there's... A Capricorn, a Taurus, or a Virgo, Aries, who decided that's not the case. I want to be very clear. I feel like for some of you guys, Cancer, you're paranoid that Aries wants your money when Aries really don't need it. Or, Cancer, you found out, you fell in love with the idea that there was an Aries out there who had the money to take care of you, had that whatever to take care of you. This person has the ability to take care of me. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm in love with the idea, not necessarily the person. So, I'm not saying that Cancer didn't like you. The cancer was like, yo, you paid. I ain't never going to have to worry. Did I die? Did I die? And I feel like the okie doke happened. I feel like something got stolen or somebody feared something. Or they became paranoid and thought Aries, you was going to take something from them. However this ends, I feel like there's something where you guys ended up separating because now we have cancer who's having these nostalgic memories. We have Cancer who is meeting up with people from the past. Something about recapturing a youth for a world romance. So I feel like you guys broke up and Cancer wants to get back together. But it feels like it's more about the potential of something. So I don't think that they didn't like you. I just don't think I just don't think that they understand they don't know what they're doing. I don't think they understand what love is and what attraction is. Whatever. In any case, so that's what we have. What is the common energy between these folks if we had to take a look at it? Both you guys come up restricted in this read. So you guys are bound, stuck. And I feel like if we had to get into a darker side, <clears throat> if we were to walk away from this piece where we could be talking about like educated philanthropists or people who are just really deep into the culture, really deep into history. And we were to take a look at the darker side of this read, I'm going to say that there was somebody who wanted... A proposal they wanted you they wanted you cancer wanted you aries so they could steal your inheritance that they knew was coming in i feel like whatever happened here i don't know if you guys called judgment it feels like you called judgment on this relationship and that left cancer like huh, i want you back worried about the past right something about worrying about the past and also meeting up with friends for future schemes whatever that's about i feel like you guys made some kind of judgment call on a situation or there's a judge involved in this Who's going to make some kind of call on something. I will tell you that. If you guys broke up. Somebody's being made to stay away. There was something with the ten of pentacles. That made somebody drop to the six of pentacles. This person. This Aries. I feel like. Aries you could have gave cancer some money. Which is what made you drop to the six of pentacles. Maybe they didn't pay it back. And the judge said they have to. That's one of the scenarios here. For some of you guys. You have a cancer out here suffering. Because they did not necessarily treat you properly. For some of you guys, you're going to end up going to the slammer because there was something done. This is common energy between you guys, which is the Eight of Swords. 
whatever was going on here, for some of you guys, you could have been on a boat. There's something about restriction. The Eight of Swords meaning some of you guys could have traveled with somebody, took people against their will or something like that. However, the common energy between you guys, a relationship or a project that is falling apart. And there's little you can do to make it come back together again. You can't prevent it. Both you guys could be in denial about how bad this is or how to move forward, how to resolve the issue. For some of you guys, this is about you being mindful of something or need to. For some of you guys, you need to be very mindful of your words because you're going to re-incriminate yourself. Meaning you probably got off something the first time or there wasn't enough of a stink made about it. And if I say that or repeat that, if somebody accidentally pulls that footage, I'm a done mother like that, right? So we have the Ace of Cups, somebody's calling judgment that if I, with this person, right, what's going to happen is I'm going to end up in jail. This Ace of Cups, I'm calling judgment. Aries is calling judgment on his cancer. They're like, listen, I'm having boundaries. Like if we look at it in just a regular layman's, we're going to keep boundaries here. I'm going to restriction, limitation. I'm going to limit how much I see you. I'm going to isolate away from you. This card, literally Eight of Swords, could mean a kidnapping. It could mean jail. Somebody could be in jail, but really the jail kicks in when you get to the Nine of Swords. That's really jail. This is some sort of self-limitation where you're in an imprisonment in your head. There's also a restriction. Some of you guys could be restricted to a home. This could be jail. It feels like you're bound to something that you can't get away from, but you guys are also isolated. You could be bound to walls. For me, this looks like jail. I'll check the text on it later. I'll go back because it's a simple book. What the? Oh my goodness. Hold on, y'all. I was talking. I don't know how long this phone been dead. Hold up. Ooh, that's dead, dead. All right, so yeah. Let me see what else I need to... Yeah, so there's some of a judgment call. All right, so we have... There could be a Scorpio involved here. Some of you guys are having a judgment by a Scorpio or Aries. You could be judging a Scorpio. Some of you guys could be judging a Scorpio. Something about the Ten of Pentacles. Something about their wealth. Something about you not giving to them. So Aries, you could have been stingy to a Scorpio. You could have been stingy to your Cancer. For some of you guys, you got with Cancer because of money. But I really feel like there's a Cancer who fell in love with the idea of the Aries being so paid and having more money coming in. But I feel like you guys may have broken up. But I feel like the breakup happened once Aries, I'm sorry, once, once Cancer became suspicious. Like, oh, you're going to steal something from me. I think what happened does... I think Cancer had some sort of expectation of what Aries was supposed to make. Now, remember, Aries wasn't able to get the money, even though the judge told him you could get this bread. It was never paid back. The Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo is still holding the money. So they didn't get all their money. You could have a Cancer who views that as weak. Oh, you didn't get your money and you only got... So they bounce or they tried to get something from you too and then they bounce. But then they have some regrets because they're still thinking about you here, right? They're thinking about how can I get in contact with them. But also meeting up with old friends, probably your old friends, hanging out with people around you or somebody that's around you. Something about a romance. At the end of the day, they wanted to relive a youthful romance or go back to a time when things were great. These people could have been around your friends, but they're also benefiting from contacts where they can get something done. So I really feel like somebody was trying to give back. Like they, I feel like Cancer found out what could have been done by Aries and they wanted to give back. So they went and got their friends and did something. But there was a judgment call. The reason why Aries didn't have the money is because the judge went in there. The judge said, here, this is yours. But they didn't pay it back. Whoever didn't pay this back could be a Libra, Aquarius, or a Gemini. They're in isolation. But this energy is coming between your relationship all right, I feel like there's breakups. I feel like there's isolation, people away from each other. I feel like for some of you guys, there's a, something a little bit deeper going on here, something having to do with a crime. Because you have the seven of swords, that's theft, dishonesty. Some of you guys could suspect. You could suspect that Aries is a thief, but for some of you guys, literally, it's, it says you're being advised to examine the motives of your Aries. I feel like there's equal suspicion of each other, but there's a judgment call. Aries is Aries doesn't come across as dirty. Aries comes across as the one being cheated in here. They're cheated out of their money. Take it how it resonates. Whatever. This one is a weird one, right? So at the end of the day here, nobody can figure out how to move forward in this relationship. Somebody's scared they're gonna reincriminate themselves if they speak. There's something about having high hopes for a stable home. And it looks like it failed. It was hold up, held up by something. It didn't happen. 
I believe the truth came out about some situation. The truth came out about some money, but I feel like I feel like cancer prematurely left, and maybe they left because they weren't able to get the bread that they wanted. And it doesn't necessarily say that Aries got the money yet, but they were definitely granted to them. So they're just waiting for this energy over here. This one, this Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo energy. They don't want nobody to know they broke and they're going to hold on to the bitter end and pay it at the last minute. One of them people. Let me get a conversation. Hold on. Yeah, but somebody, uh, this, what's in common? Both these people kidnapped somebody at some point. There was something about kidnapping. If you want to go back in the day with the crimes. Again, this could have been some initiation, but I feel like somebody got hurt from something. We see somebody who has a wheelchair, something with physical limitations. Some, you guys also have this energy where you're isolated from each other. I don't think you guys are together. I feel like there's some sort of a restriction. Restriction because one of you guys could be locked up, right? The one that could be daydreaming, that could be Aries in a slammer. Give me a conversation, please. What does Cancer have to say to Aries? Hold on. Cancer, what do you have to say to Aries? I'm really curious because I don't know who left who or whatever happened. If the cards say that you need to watch out for Aries, the cards are saying that Aries is a thief or is pointing to that. It says that you are questioning their motives. It says that you are, but for some of you guys, Cancer, your adversary is a Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. They're probably talking crap about your Aries, right? That's what made you look, examine the motives of others. Somebody put some kind of doubt in your head, and it was probably that Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. could have been the legal system about some money. Will you marry me? Isn't that amazing? Ace of Cups, I'm in love with you. Will you marry me? The cards are telling you watch out for this Aries. And you're like, will you marry me? All right. Now, will you marry me? And then it goes on to say dishonesty. See, but this is the thing. It's subjective, right? You could be the one in love. I want to marry you. But you could also be the one practicing the dishonesty. I'm getting that too. Examine the motives of others. But it still feels like it points to Aries. I am not angry with you. I'm not angry at you. It sounds like somebody might have said no. Because you're like, will you marry me? And then you're like, I'm not angry at you. Somebody must have said no. You are my soulmate, but I understand you're not my soulmate. Will you marry me? I'm not angry at you, but you ain't my soulmate, right? So I feel like the vibe changed. I feel like somebody came into this with an idea of love. I feel like you bounced. I feel like somebody broke up with somebody. But there's an understanding that you are not my soulmate. Give me one more from Cancer to Aries. This can't work. It's reversed. This can work. You still think it can work. You still want to marry this person, even though you're being advised to watch out for the motives of others. Now, I want to be very clear with that. The cards could be telling Cancer to, yes, look at the motives of the person you want to marry, which is Aries, but also look at those people who are all up in the mix around Aries. I think that's it. What are their motives? What are their motives? Because this is the Aries that got a lot of money coming in. They're owed a heck of a lot of money. And this Cancer is like, will you marry me? I look out for that too because this is Ace of Cups. That's brand new. I just hit the millionaire list. You know, they got a they got an underground newspaper for celebrities. They got chats going on. They got a list of chicks. They got a list of dudes who I guess is up and coming. They know what you work before you do. They already know. So they got this list going. There's something about betrayal here. Aries is like, this is a betrayal. There's something about betrayal. First card that comes up for, will you marry me? Will you marry me? And the other one, if Aries comes up with a betrayal. So Aries, give me more about the betrayal, please. All right. Because there's some sort of significant life change and it falls under the Ten of Pentacles. Betrayal. Somebody betrayed you. There was a judgment and you got betrayed. Conversation. You make me feel alive. You betrayed me. When I'm with you, I feel like I'm dead. There's no life. Give me more, please. Ooh, child. More. And this is this is Aries calling judgment. I want to be alone. Yo, Aries is not kidding. Get up out of here. And Cancer is still yelling that this can work. Give me more, please. What do you want to say? What do you want to say, Aries? Give me one more for cancer. Give me something good because they're getting slammed in this read. Huh? I am captured by your beauty. So they said, you, yeah, you, you betrayed me. I feel dead when I'm with you. I want to be alone. But yes, I'm captured by your beauty. It's not that you bad looking. Or that, you know, I'm captured by you, but I ain't trying to be with you. Give me the common energy between these two, please. 
My mental health is in a bad place. My mental health is getting in a better place because I separated from your crazy like that, right? Give me one more. I'm curious. Give me one more. What's the common energy? Both of you guys are trying to nurse your mental health. I feel like this was a tumultuous or whatever's going on here. I come alive when I'm with you. My mental health is getting better. I come alive when I'm with you. At one point, you guys felt dead with each other, but the cards do say that you were looking to renew something, right? I feel like there's a lot of stress in this relationship. Why? Because somebody's got extended family members that just, you know, they're there. Not that it's bad for them to be there, but somebody got a family member overseas. Then they got an older one that's moving in. Then the money is on hold. I feel like it's unstable. And I feel like something needs to be settled between these guys. The judgment's been made for Aries. Aries is up, ready to go. But they acknowledge you betrayed me. I don't feel alive when I'm with you. I'm captured by your beauty, but I ain't really feeling you like that. But Cancer's like... Uh, yeah, you seem like a good catch. I see you got the money coming in or whatever, and I, and I understand whatever. But these people, the motives around you, or you guys, Cancer, need to understand why you were sent in the direction of Aries or vice versa. There's the people around you. There's something shady going on. But there's somebody going to jail. Let me see if I can... Oh, well, that's that. Give me the comment. And, well, give me... um. Tell me why, what is the Eight of Swords about? Who was restricted? You guys could feel, both feel bound and restricted to this relationship, but it also says isolation. What's this about? What's the Eight of Swords? Choose love. Mm -hmm. So there was, a, there was an app. This is an app, a solution to something. Somebody was trying to find a solution to something. Choose love. All is fair. Yup, there's a judge who's going to, oh, man... Somebody said, choose love. Because I said, what is the Eight of Swords about? Remember, the Eight of Swords is about being bound. It says, choose love. Somebody was on a, a, a love, a, a website. It's probably, it says, love finder. So that's probably tender or something like that. It says, choose love. This card is the Eight of Swords. That's the card of restriction and limitation. Somebody was on a love website. Somebody wounds up in court. This is a judge here. That's a judge. It says, all is fair. All right, so that's something about a new beginning. Somebody's judging something. Somebody's judging a relationship, a partnership, how to bring harmony to something. Tell me more about this Eight of Swords. Momentum. Somebody's moving away from a situation or somebody's advising manifest. Give me more. Somebody took some sort of movement, momentum. Somebody did something that caused some trouble to a partnership. Now somebody's reflecting about it. Somebody's exploring something. Manifest. The judge makes a call that somebody goes to jail. Explore. Somebody's exploring something with a cab. The initials. Oh, I don't know why I thought that. That looks like a... There's no initials there, but back here it looks like a Y and something else. Whoa. Explore. Flow. I think there's a judge. There's a judge that judges something. The judge came back and said somebody's going to jail. There's something about momentum. Somebody was not able to put themselves in somebody's shoes. Don't ask me what this means, but something did not complete. Somebody didn't learn a lesson. Somebody kept doing something over and over again. Something about flow. Manifest something. Whoever this is, you guys need to manifest and let something flow. Something's going to work out where somebody's going to jail. Somebody that came in between your relationship. Somebody on a love website. You guys probably met on a website. There's an Aries making a judgment on a website where you guys were in a relationship with somebody who found you to get your money. It's all over to read. Came in with betrayal. I feel like the person who was getting the inheritance could have been Aries. Or you guys could be two guys chasing a lady who's got an inheritance coming in who could have been a Scorpio. Who else is here? Yeah, you could have two of these people trying to get the bread from a Scorpio, right? Because the Scorpio's got money coming in and a new list went around and who got what? <laughs> Manifest. Mm. Somebody, basically somebody going to jail. Put it this way, to make it easy for you, there's a Libra Aquarius or a Gemini going to jail for a, a romance scam on Tinder. That's it. And there's something about an inheritance. Somebody was trying to steal an inheritance. So. The cards say cancer. You should have looked out at the motives of these other people that were working with you to get this inheritance. But it also looks like somebody is suspicious. I don't know if somebody's suspicious that somebody's going to get to you before they do. But somebody that you guys were with broke up. 
Cancer, you probably broke away from Aries because you felt like they ain't have enough. You ain't got enough money. You said you was going to be making this and this. So then you found out the judge did grant it to them, but so-and-so won't pay. So you decide to walk away. And that money's still on the way, but somebody tried to steal me. I don't know if somebody wasn't walking away without a prize. Because at the end of the day, somebody going to jail over a stolen inheritance. Somebody going to jail because they tried to steal somebody's inheritance. For some of you guys, they did steal a piece of it. Because your money goes from Ten of Pentacles, then it goes down to Six of Pentacles reverse. So a payment due to you. You could have loaned somebody some money. Somebody going to jail. Anyway, that's all I have for you guys. This was a... This one was weird, but I get it. Anyway, good luck with that. Whatever the heck this was about. <sighs> I don't even know what I'm going to name it. Anyway, I love you guys. I'll see you soon. Bye.